Our next guest is a media titan who bet big on his own stock. Let's welcome Michael Burns, vice chairman of Lionsgate. Nice to see you, Melissa. Nice to and see everyone. you, Mike. Great to have you. 50,000 shares. Yeah, I, I bought a little stock in the open Why? market. Well, I, I believe in the company, and I believe in the momentum that we're seeing, particularly if you take a look at stars uh, globally, if you look at the domestic uh, uh, growth that we're seeing, I feel very strongly that Joe Drake and Nathan Cahan are going to do a terrific job in the film business. And if you look at the scripted business run by Kevin Beggs on the television side, uh, we have 38 active scripts in uh, scripted television shows in development. That's a record for us. So I feel very bullish. Uh, you bought September 25th, I believe, and since then it's up 9%. The last time you bought Lionsgate shares uh, was June 6, 2011. That's up 273% since outperformed the S&P 500 by at least a double. Uh, do you think your stock is undervalued compared to some of the other media content stocks out there, given all the consolidation talk? I'm not going to be... You know, talk about the other valuations because some of them have P's, some of them don't, some of them have enormous growth. You know, 2011 and 2018, my father would have said that was a long time between drinks. Uh, I would say that uh, uh, I, I know this company extremely well. I think uh, my partner, our CEO, John Feldheimer, and I have uh, been around a long time, and, uh, and we feel like uh, we're at a great place. If you look at uh, what I think the street is missing uh, is that uh, it, it, the international play for stars. Uh, we launched uh, with Amazon in the UK and Germany. We also announced uh, that uh, we'll have an imminent, imminent launch, uh, launches in Spain, Italy, and France. And I think there are going to be a lot of countries right behind that. And we believe that you know there's no reason for us uh, to doubt the idea in our minds, uh, which is that our our international business on the star side will be as big as our domestic. Um, who do you think is your toughest OTT competitors out there? The landscape has changed a little bit since the last time we talked. I think that we can be one of the three, four, five OTT go-to platforms. And we're seeing that. If you take a look at the success we've had with Star Play Arabia, for example, we're the leader in that space with over a million subs. And so we think that the, the combination of Stars and Lionsgate was a unique combination that enabled us to do something that, that a lot of places can't do, a lot of, a lot of companies can't do. You have 17,000 titles in the library, and then on top of that, you have this, uh, this platform called Stars. The combination is very powerful. What do you think investors don't understand about OTT, particularly international? I think that there seems to be, at least in this country, sort of this North American-centric view of OTT and what it can be, and they don't acknowledge that perhaps India could be the next big market or it could Europe. Be India, it could be China, it could be Europe, it could be Asia. Um, again, I look at what we've launched and, and what the results are. I can tell you that we're very encouraged with the early results out of the UK and Germany. We've seen 10% weekly growth. That's a good number. And so, and again, you have to, have to price this service correctly, uh, the same way that we're doing domestically. So I'm, I, again, I'm encouraged. And I think that's a, a great bullish case. I think the street's missing. Is it a land grab at this point? First well, I, in, you get the customers, low price, you lock them in? Yeah, well, you know, two of the only things I remember from business school, I hate to say that, but uh, would be first mover advantage. Uh, and, uh, and, and there is a first mover and there's a second and there's a third mover. And then after that, it gets more difficult. And I think we're in the, uh, and I also think the barrier to entry, that's the second thing I remember from school, which is the barrier to entry is who has the capacity to do what we're, what we're doing. Again, this giant library at the same time with the STARS platform, uh, which is expanding globally. And there aren't a lot of players in that space. Michael, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for Nice your time. to see you all. Michael Burns, Vice Chairman of Lionsgate. One of well, the first guests we ever had. This That's show, how, well, this show's going to be 12 years old. We talk about this all the time. Do you remember time. that fight that we had on air? It was epic. Air? Many, with Michael, multiple with times. Carl with Carl Icahn. Icahn when the stock days. was six and a half dollars or so. And I think we all sided with Mr. Burns. We all wound up being right. He wound up being right in a major way. And when he bets on his stock, people talk about this. You know, anytime somebody puts their money where their mouth is, you got to be behind it. They just re-signed their director of distribution, which I think is a big deal that nobody's talking about. I think Lion Gates goes higher. You love the insider buying. Oh, man. When it, as soon as I see it, something like that, yeah. I mean, I, I think it really stands out. And I mean, that's one of the things that made Jamie Dimon think about when he, back when he bought Steve J.P. Wynn. Morgan, Steve Wynn. Talked about it how many times on this show. God, Steve Wynn won, bought more stock. He just kept doing it. When I see something like this, I got to tell you something. I love seeing that. That's commitment. Well, you know, Michael talked about the international opportunity. Again, their distribution partner is Amazon Prime. And so, you know, he talked about how important that is. I, I just, you know, 
that is very important, and it's also key, the consolidation in the industry. He's often told us he's agnostic on who. So we'll see. Quick last uh, Real word. quickly, one of the best shows on TV in the last year was on Stars. It was Counterpart, and that's mm. the point. A couple more hits like that, and this company with a $5 billion market cap is going to be on the short list for takeovers.